Hi, this is Steven Mann, and uh, we're going to make a simple arm for this character. Uh, basically, one of the things we want to look at is creating an IKFK rig, as well as creating a bind arm to help with the rota X rotations of the shoulder and the wrist. So the first thing we're going to do is build build a joint from his shoulder to his wrist here. And we want to make sure that the wrist joint is perfectly straight. So what I'm going to do is a little cheat just so I can put some joints in there straight even though this arm isn't. Uh, there's a couple ways I can do this. I'm going to show you a way that allows you to insert joints really fast. So I'm going to go to skeleton joint tool and I'm just going to place it what looks like a good location in the wrist or in the shoulder and then draw down to my wrist and that's all I'm going to do to start So let's continue from there. So basically I've just drawn that joint. This is my wrist joint. This is my shoulder joint. But I'm just doing that so that I can draw in some more joints. Now there is an insert tool in Maya 2008, but I'm first going to start out by using just standard uh, moving. So I want to make sure I'm in local space for my translate tool. So holding down W and left mouse button, I can get to that local space control. And if you notice, when I move this in the X direction, it's only moving in X, as well as it moves directly in the exact same line with that joint. So what I'm going to do is just create, by duplicating another joint, and draw it forward. And uh, you'll notice that it has the same translations. And I'll duplicate again to build one for my elbow. So I'm going to take this and just slide it right to where my elbow is. And I may need to go to another view to see exactly where I want that elbow to be. So let's see. We want it right about there. That looks good. Go back to my front view and turn off wireframe so I can see. And now I can just simply parent these joints up. So I'm just using P for parent. Like so. Okay, so now I've got that in there. I'm going to go to the top view and just make sure that my arm is in the right place. Just slide it over so it's in line. I'm just putting it straight down this joint. The elbow's a little bit off. It's not really going to hurt me that much for this character. I um, just want to see it from a couple different views, make sure we're happy with it. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> this is the control joint. Basically, we have a shoulder, an elbow, and a wrist. And that extra joint at the end is just going to tell it which way to aim. And if you look at the joints right now, you see they're actually not oriented the way we want, like the shoulder is up here. So if I select all my joints, and I have a, a quick uh, marking menu here for select-hi to select all my joints. I'm going to go to display, transform display, local rotation axis. I can see what they're all doing. And you notice that these last three aren't in line the way I want them to be. So I can just select them and go to skeleton, orient joint. I'll open that up. I'm just going to drag it over. And XYZ is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and say apply. And what you should see is that these joints have changed their rotation. See how they all go down in line? Now the most important thing is that they all match each other, which they do right now. You could go in and make sure that when you go forward it's positive and back it's negative. But for this tutorial I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But you can go ahead and change the rotations, which I'll show you later. Okay. So now I'm going to name them. So this is shoulder... elbow, and wrist. There we go. And they're all in line the way we want them to. Alright, so now what I want to do is build the bind arm. And I want to do it right away so that I can orient, so I can mirror it to the other side. So let's mirror this one first. So skeleton mirror joints. And I have it set to YZ because that's our axis that we're in. And I have this search for and replace with. So I put the directions on there, so I'm going to change it hit apply and it automatically goes and renames that for me. It's very handy. Alright, so now let's build those bind joints for us. Uh, there's a new tool in 2008 that I'll show you. If you go to skeleton, insert joint tool. And what's cool about this, I can select that shoulder and actually just draw down where I want my joints to be. Now the only thing about it is it's a little bit inaccurate, so we don't know exactly how long these joints are. And ideally I want all these joints to be the exact same distance. So what I can actually do is select each one and make sure they're all the same. So right now I'm somewhere around 2.3. I'm just going to type that in and see what that gives us. It's a little bit long, as you notice that now my elbow doesn't line up anymore. 
But remember, I can always just move it back. And I have them all selected, so that means I'm moving them all the exact same distance at the exact same time. So I'm just looking at that elbow, so I'll line it right up. There we go. Now that does throw off my uh, original joint, so I just use that for example for now. We're going to have to redo this one on the other side, which is fine. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the lower end. But I'm going to do it the old way, which is just to duplicate. And actually, I'm just going to delete their end joints so I only get the ones I want. There we go. And I'll put three joints there. And again, using P, I'll parent them to each other. Now, the only thing, too, is I notice that they're not all the same distance from each other. So again, let's try 2.3. It actually looks pretty good. If I want them a little bit shoulder, shorter, I'll just make a little shorter. And now I'm going to parent my wrist joint to those joints. Something like that. Now, I do want to name them. So I'm going to go ahead and just name these guys here. I'm going to make them joint, bicep, LF. And these guys here, I'm going to name them joint, ulna, for the rotation joint, LF. Great. And I'm going to select all of them, and actually I have a little thing to turn all their axes off, as well as to turn them on, all on, just so you can see what that looks like. They should all be lining up exactly the same, which is what we want. So, I'm going to delete that one on the other side, but I will use the mirror joints, skeleton mirror, gets it on the other side. Excellent. Now these are the bind joints. These are the ones that I'm actually going to bind the skin to. And the reason I did the extra joints in here is so that when this rotates I get a nice fall off down the arm. So I'm going to remake those control joints based on these bind joints. So the way to do that, duplicate the joint, and I just use shift to create the old one. So now I've hidden the old one, and I just have my a copy of my bind joint. What I'm going to do is just bypass the parenting. So I'm going to grab that wrist joint, go right to the elbow joint, and hit parent. And actually now if I just arrow to the left, I'll get its uh, brother or sister, and I can delete it out. Now I'm left with just the elbow to the wrist. I'll do that again for the shoulder. So I'll select the, the, sh the elbow, select the shoulder, hit P for parent, arrow to the left. Now I've got just those extra joints, and I'm going to delete them. And these are going to be my control joints, and as such, I'm going to name them that. So I'm going to just go in here and put LF control, just so I know what's what. And wrist. Excellent. And that I can mirror over as well. And remember to have the LFRT, that way it gets renamed on the other side. Okay. So I'm just going to just hide those guys for now, and I'm going to go to my outliner and unhide my LF bind joints. Hello. Great. And they should look very similar, at least they should be in line, and their local rotation axis should all line up with each other, which is what we have right now.